workers and lions in China. So people often ask me if that's true, then how did this ever happen? The story I'm going to tell you is a story of how lion dancing came about throughout all Asia. Thousands of years ago, there were villagers everywhere. And every year, they had the same problem. Every year, the evil beasts would come down from the mountainside. They would destroy the farmers' crops and kill their livestock. Well, the villagers knew that if they did nothing, they would starve. Now, the villagers had heard that the great emperor had someone come and visit him from another country, and they brought with them a lion. So, the villagers said, that is all great and good for the emperor, but that will not help us. So, the villagers decided to create a lion of their own to scare away the evil. They decided that the lion would made, be made from all the fiercest elements of all the animals they knew. They decided that the lion would have a beautiful horn on the top of its head. The lion would have big eyes that blink and glow in the dark at night. The lion would have a big mouth to bite those evil beasts. And of course, the lion would have a long beard because the beard is the symbol of wisdom, which only comes with age. Now, my lion could turn. All lions would have a cute tail. Now, the most important thing that all lions must have is right here on the forehead. If you look at the lion's forehead, you'll see a silver dome. And that dome is there to represent a mirror. And why? I told you the lion was created to scare away evil. How does a lion do that? Well, when the lion dances, it faces evil. And when evil sees its own face in the mirror, evil is so afraid of its own ugly face in the mirror that evil turns away, runs away, and never comes back. So now what we'd like to do for you is the traditional southern lion dance. So the lion will dance, it will face evil, and it will scare it away. Then the lion will go to sleep, it will wake up, and then it will be hungry. So we will feed it the iceberg lettuce. Not romaine, but iceberg lettuce. Then it will take the lettuce, it will kick the lettuce at you, and of course if you are touched by the lettuce, you will have good luck. But remember, even if you are not touched by the lettuce, it does not matter. Because we're all here at Stonestown, and thank you again to Stonestown for having us back again. I think this is a, a tenth year. But remember, now that we're all here, the lion is blessing us with its dance. We're all going to have good luck. Oh, and I should mention, if you get the lettuce, please remember, do not throw the lettuce back at the lion. If you throw the lettuce back at the lion, that means you're throwing your good luck away. Now, after the lettuce, what we will do then is the lion will drop a banner that says, Happy New Year, Bouquet Fa Choi. That's the Kodak moment. So if you have your phones out, you have your cameras, that's the picture to take. After they do the banners, then we're going to give the lion some bags of good luck candy. They will kick that out to you in the crowd. Please remember, only take it from where you are. Don't run in here because the lions have a big mass and they may not be able to see you. And then after the end of the lion dance, we will come out and pass all the different, you know, red envelopes out to you. And then the uh, lion will parade around the mall on the main floor and it will have another bag of discounts that the lions will give out to you. Thank you so much. Go ahead, Bok Choy. Thank you.